beautiful, isn't she? It's a 190 millimeter. I'm thinking about uh, probably like a QX90, maybe the setup of one. The little brushless motors. Let's see, you got the Punisher. And then it's like perforated, and all you can feel it. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but you can feel it. Sorry about that, the battery died. But anyway, it's you can't see it, but you can feel it. it's like perforated. So in other words, the inside, you can see it's like smooth. Well, this is supposed to be the bottom. This is probably why it looks a little rough looking. But I flipped it over because I wanted it to be the same way on the bottom. So when it's in the air, you're going to see the 3D part of it. So that's why it just looks like this because it's supposed to be the bottom of it. Which it should have. No. It did okay. It's strong. You're not breaking it. And you don't want it too rigid because then when it hits the ground, it will break. So you want something that's going to give a little bit. You just don't want when you thrust the motors for it to give. And I think it's pretty rigid for that, honestly. So, yeah, guys, what you think? This is what I was telling you about. This is what I wanted to get into 3D printing for, basically. Print my own stuff and that. And I haven't seen pretty much nothing on the internet about this little guy the Punisher drone pretty cool so now this is just you know the first stage the next stage is to actually get parts and get it to fly that's the really intriguing part to know that I actually built this from the ground up printed the frame the whole nine yards So. MD95TSI signing out. Thank you for watching. Which think perfect size props? I think it is. Think about the time the motor is on there. It raises up by here. And now you put little standoffs and perfect. Perfecto. Good job, MD.